This collaboration was very exciting for us to work with our community partners to take this unique group and put all of our skills together. It really was a dream come true because what we didn't have, they had, and the things that we could bring to it, we just felt were really appreciated and valued. Fue un trabajo intenso, fue un trabajo en equipo, un trabajo muy agradable. Contamos con gente muy preparada para hacer el, este contingente. Diseñamos una flota por meses, diseñamos la coreografía con un equipo danzario. We were expressing this um, very inclusive theme of, of cultures and dance and the arts and bringing people together with this Afro-Peruvian tradition. What you see on the day of Carnival, that presentation, that begins in December or January with classes in music and dance and visual arts classes. And this is where you see the transformation in the young people who perhaps, you know, have never taken a dance class or don't dance regularly or don't perform, maybe have never performed in front of an audience. Gradually, little by little, learning these, these skills and then finally being able to present it together with their peers. because other people are gonna see me and then my friends are gonna be here like cheering for me. Well the experience was really fun because um, I, like, I tried my best and then they helped me like when I didn't like I didn't get a step they helped me. There was like a lot of people there and it was the first time I performed in front of a lot of people. It's scary. A little bit, but then like you get used to it because like you do it a lot. It blew me away. The level of, of energy and skill and craftsmanship um, from the adults and from the children and how they fed off the energy of the spectators at the parade. La transformación se ve después de las primeras semanas. Siempre hay niños y jóvenes que al comienzo no quieren participar. Luego, viendo el resultado, cómo va avanzando poco a poco, eh, ellos eh, se van contagiando con esto. Muchos de los niños de que en algunas veces en sus colegios tienen mal comportamiento, cambian con esto porque dentro de ellos van a, aprendiendo a tener disciplina. Last year I was drumming and now I learned like how to dance different, you know, like after Peruvian music and stuff. Learn the cajones and I like I practice, keep practicing and I get more better and better. That's all I do. everything. It was culturally very deep and it was also artistically very, very interesting for the children because there were elements of all of it. There was movement, there was dance, there was music, there was percussion, and there was also theater, there was also acting. Can learn about yourself. I think a lot of our students, through the process of learning how to dance, through the process of building confidence, learn about their own capabilities and their own possibilities. And then I think that it takes it to another level when you have this collaboration and there are adults um, dancing and, and drumming beside our youth of all ages. And so there's just this really powerful collaboration that happens also with the parents and the families that are coming in. Um, to help push the float or help hand out water or maybe even participate in the dance. There is this community coming together that happens there that I think is really, really powerful. 
and we can only build on that next year and get stronger and get more cohesive as a community. Me ha ayudado en la forma de no estar aburrida, estar activa y sí, no es como otras personas que no tienen nada que hacer en la calle y no saben qué hacer, pues andan haciendo cosas malas que no deberían de hacer. Eso a mí sí me ha ayudado mucho. I learned a variety of dances. I've learned it's really complicated and you know. There's a bunch of dates for certain parts of certain places. You see the transformation in the, in the self-esteem. You see it in the fact that these young people see themselves not as consumers of art, but creators of art. And I think it goes a long way in, in enabling them to meet challenges in the future. To be able to see their future as more like, hey, I'm somebody who can be a leader. I'm somebody who can present to other people. I have a future. Well, it had changed a lot because back then, um, I only used to like go home, straight home, and now I go to my super and learn how, like, how to drum, how to dance and stuff. El punto focal es de que continúe proyectos como este, no solo en el de en nuestro proyecto, que haya otros proyectos como este existentes dentro de esta comunidad, porque la base primordial de toda sociedad son los niños y los jóvenes. This is an experience for every child to have, wherever part of the city they're from. They should come and experience this. It's safe, it's fun, it's unique, it's outside, and it's on a scale that is completely unique and it's such a fun day that nobody should miss this, everybody should do this. Calacumbe, 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 que lindo es el niño señora José. Calacumbe, 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 que lindo es el niño señora José.